Today we'll be looking at another Pearson and Excel question paper. This is from May 2020. The paper code is WMA 11 slash 01. This question paper has nine questions. Question number one. Given that 3p q square to the power 4 times 2p square root of q to the power 8 is equal to a p to the power b q to the power c. Find the values of the constants a, b and c. The question carries three marks. Look at this question. They want you to find the value of a, b and c. So that means we need to simplify this whole thing using uh, laws of indices. And we try to make it in this form. A number a times p to the power something and q to the power something. Then you can say the number equal to a and the exponent of p is b, exponent of q is c. That's what we are going to do. So first thing, when you have a, b, c to the power 4, you need to put power 4 for everything. So it will be 3 to the power 4, p to the power 4, q square to the power 4 times you have 2p here square root of q to the power 8 write it as q to the power 8 to the power half square root of q to the power 8 is q to the power 8 to the power half our laws of indices says if you have a to the power m to the power m you can just multiply the exponents you can write it as m times n we keep the right side terms as it is, so it will be easy for us to equate both sides. So here, 3 to the power 4 is, 3 squared is 999, so 81 times 2, which is 162. And we have p to the power 4, q to the power 2, 4 is so 8. And then we have p here. Q to the power 8 times half is 8 upon 2, which is 4. A, P to the power B, Q to the power C. Now, if you simplify further, we have P to the power 4 and P to the power 1. Our laws of indices says, if you have A to the power M times A to the power N, you can write it as A to the power M plus N. If the two base are equal, you can just add the exponent. So it will be 162 p to the power 4 plus 1, which is 5, and q to the power 8 plus 4 is 12, which equals a p to the power b q to the power c. So you can just uh, equate them. So our a is this constant 162, b is the exponent of p. And the C is the exponent of Q. That's it. So you need to know the laws of indices. If you have two terms that are in division, you can write it as M minus M. You need to learn all these laws of indices. And that's it. Combine everything, put it in this form. Then you can equate them accordingly. 